There's a fairly easy modification that can be done to the Handtech 1008 to provide it with a hardware-based AC coupling. There are four T15 Torx screws on the back side. You remove those and the top cover can be removed. So the idea is straightforward. We're going to try to introduce a 104 ceramic capacitor, a 0.1 microfarad value in series with the center pin of a channel. I'm choosing channel number eight. Some people modify two channels on here, both seven and eight. I'm just doing channel eight. We're going to be taking a bit of a shortcut. We're not going to be desoldering any components off the board. Although that would be interesting. And there is going to be a gadget featured in a few weeks um, that's going to be dealing with desoldering components off of a circuit board like this. Uh, it's going to be really cool. I'm looking forward to that. But today, we're just going to be taking a shortcut. I ended up cutting the center lead from the BNC here, midway. And we're just going to introduce this capacitor and soldering it in series in here. I also cut the legs off the capacitor leads just a little bit. To shorten them up, I'm going to pre-tin those legs and then carefully solder it to the bottom here on that pin to the board and to the top on the pin to the BNC. I'll do it off camera. It's tricky to do this and have uh, some good shots of it in close quarters. And then I'll show you the finished product. At the risk of making the same mistake as uh, George W. Bush, mission accomplished. So we have our capacitor soldered in series on the center pin going to the board on channel 8. If you want uh, a second channel, repeat this process on channel 7. I'm okay with just one channel. 8 scope allows you to map the second channel to any of the HT108 channels. So in the settings, select channel 8 as your second channel and you will have access to an AC coupled hardware based solution. Hope you enjoyed that. Talk to you guys later.